Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I would do another quick video on this cheap Chinese pack. Um, now to start off with, I just want to apologise, there's a lot of background noise today and it's pretty blowy out, so again, sorry if the audio's not great. Um, and really, since the last episode, I've told you all about this cheap pack before, you know, why I bought it. I wanted to find sort of the cheapest pack I could find that I thought would be any good, and I'm just really giving it a bit of a test run. Now, I've um, set it up with my loadout. Um, I've got everything where I think I need it to be. Time will tell, um, but it all seems to sort of slot into the right places at the moment. And to start off with, I want to show you this. So I've got my tripod on here. Um, obviously, I take my cameras whenever I go out so I can do videos for you guys. Um, and because my brew kit didn't fit in these little loops, I thought I'd use it for the tripod instead. Um, and really, you know, they're not quick release, which is unfortunate, but you know what? It's only going to take a couple of seconds and out it comes. So what I think I'll do, just so you can get a better view of this, I'll just move the camera around a second, give you a better angle, and I'll show you what it is I've got inside. Right then, guys, so here's our pack. You've got the little carrying handle and obviously the, um, the straps on the back, which is how I'll probably normally use it. Um, I've stuck a little Velcro um, Union Jack on there just because I like to keep this on whichever pack I'm using if I've got the Velcro tabs to do it. Um, and to start off with, I'm going to look at these front pouches. So the smaller one at the front here, I've got my paracord ready for my ridge line, nice and easy and accessible, so I can throw this up really quickly and easily. I've got a few little odds and sods in here. Um, I've got my fire bellows. Um, I've got some of my fire starting gear. There's another one in here as well. Yeah, so another one in there, little Altoids tin with my wax cotton. And finally, you'll be seeing this in another video in the nearest future. Um, going on the theme of buying cheap Chinese gear, I've got a little wire saw here. To be honest, I'm not expecting much from it, but I thought I'd do a little review on that as well. And then onto the bigger front compartment, I have got, if I can get it out, my folding firebox. Again, relatively accessible. I don't need to get to this in a rush, unlike the other stuff and I've got my knife, I've got my little Mora Outdoor in there. Um, this sheath does also fit my Ray Mears Bushcraft knife, so I have a choice of, uh, of those if I want to. I've got my Laplander, again, easily accessible, and I've got my Grants Force Cubbon. So that's all the stuff in the front. Those are all the things that I want to be able to get to relatively quickly and easily. Um, and then as you may remember, there's only one opening to get into the main part of this pack, which is on the side here. Now I thought this was going to be a bit of a problem, to be honest. Um, I was genuinely expecting this to be a bit bulky, a bit of a pain, to be fair. Um, and actually, because it's got a big, nice, open sort of cavity in there, I can just kind of reach in and get whatever I need. So to start off with, um, I've got my GoPro just stuck in a little plastic bag with a few spare batteries just on hand in case my other camera goes wrong. I've got a little bag of charcoal for my uh, firebox because I quite like this stuff at the moment. Charcoal is nice and easy, clean burning, very little smoke. So if you are kind of stealth camping or doing a bit of bushcraft somewhere where you don't want to be sort of found, I like this really, really, really well. Uh, what else have I got in here? So I've got a little spare tripod for the GoPro in case I want to get some different angles. These little gorilla pods are quite good because you can wrap them around branches and things, um, so they're really useful. I have got my little BPL solo tarp. Really, really like this. I've also got a larger one, um, and you know, if I'm going out for longer periods, I'll take that. But this is really just to get me some cover on bad days. What else have I got? Let me move this back a second. So I've got my brew kit with my Pathfinder cup and canteen, um, little gas burner, a little bottle of a little uh, canister of gas in there. I have got my little cook set. See if I can get this open on camera for you. So my MSR stowaway pot with all the little things that sit inside it. And finally, I have got just my little fold out sit pad just in case the ground or logs that I'm sitting on are a bit damp and manky. Um, and all of that sits inside this 50 litre pack and there's plenty of room for more. Now I'm guilty as much as anybody. If I have a large pack, I'll generally fill it. So this time I've tried to be really kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Really um, frugal 
um, and tried not to overload it. I've just put in the things that I need. Um, unfortunately, because my previous pack was smaller than this, I've just taken the things that were sitting in there. And as I say, you know, this is quite a large compartment in here. I could really, really pad this out with stuff if I wanted to. But actually, you know, I'm quite happy trying to keep this as minimal as I can. Right then guys, so that is this pack and my loadout. It all seems fairly sort of sensible where I put things at the moment, though obviously, you know, time will tell and I'll modify it as I need. Um, I haven't really been on any long distances with it yet, but I've been out for a bit of a walk with it. It seems pretty comfortable to be honest, um, so I'm hoping that's got a, a good sign of things to come. Um, as I said before in the last video, you'll be seeing a lot more of this pack when I'm out and about. Um, you know, I'm going to be testing this out. I may, I may look at getting a little rain cover for it, just because I know for a fact this is not going to be waterproof. Um, and you know, it doesn't really matter if my gear gets wet, but you know, for, for a fiver or so for a rain cover, it kind of makes sense. You know, why, why not protect it if you can? Um, and that's it, guys. So I hope it was useful. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope you'll all join me next time. Cheers, guys.